So what inspired you to create the exhibit online? Um, so the online exhibit actually follows from an offline exhibit that's been hosted at Leicester University um, for two years in a row. And because we know that sexual violence is a really long-standing issue, it impacts millions of people around the world. Um, and we know from the research that I do and some of my colleagues, um, colleagues do, that um, you know, sexual violence is a big problem, but what's also a problem is the myths around sexual violence. So there are myths around like who could be raped, um, you know, who is unlikely to be, um, how people respond after they experience rape. And a lot of these myths are really problematic because they tend to blame the victim. So, um, and they kind of redirect attention away from the perpetrator. Yeah. And um, they create a lot of shame and stigma around victims as well. So all of these things have a big impact in that they discourage victims from telling people about the violence. And so then that has implications um, for the criminal justice system, for those who want to take the cases forward in terms of how much they're believed. And then in terms of the prosecution rates are actually quite low for sexual violence. Um, so basically, we wanted to have this online exhibition to just make it more accessible to more people. Definitely. No, that does make, that's really good. Um, so how did the exhibition come about? So it was through a number of different conversations um, with myself, and there's Anna Carline, who used to be at Leicester, but is now at Liverpool, and Claire Gunby, who again used to be at um, Leicester, but is now at Birmingham. So, you know, we're just some group of academics who study sexual violence, and Anna's from law, and Claire's from criminology, and I'm from media, so we're, we're looking at it from different perspectives. Um, and I think we've been inspired some other artful interventions that we've seen around the world. So, um, you know, interventions or exhibits that show what people were wearing when they experienced sexual violence. And that's challenged this idea that if you dress like a slut, you're, you're inviting rape or more likely um, to be raped. And so we thought that there would be a good way of um, trying to challenge some of these myths and kind of bring forward the reality of sexual violence in maybe a more interesting and interactive way. So we began to work with artists, with um, people from the Crown Prosecution Service. So some of the scenarios um, that we have in this exhibition are actually based on real life cases. Um, and so it was a lot of hard work over um, several months to put on the exhibition. Um, first, I think it was in 2019, and then it ran again this year. Um, and so we just feel like it's such an important topic and we really need to be aware of these myths and the harms around sexual violence.